What is up, everybody? Welcome to the first official CLG FGC podcast discussion video thing. I, I think we're kind of working out the format here. We'll leave it up to the viewers maybe to recommend some titles to, to help guide us for what we want to call this thing. But basically, we're here to talk about all things fighting games with the uh, the FGC pros here. I'm Brian F. I'm joined by Apology Man and Ramallah Yo. today. Uh, I guess Cuddlecore is too busy practicing to be... <laughs> Dude, doing unimportant things us. like... Every time I look at Twitter, she's like, it's always like, you know, so, something huge, like second. Just accomplish like this, this, winning, this, this, yeah. and this. I'm like, damn. Damn. Well, that's what we're, we're here to do, talking, because there's been actually a ton of fighting game news that came out within the past week, and the, the biggest one I think most of the FGC and outside FGC is looking forward to is Project L. We, we finally got an update, it's, mm -hmm. and uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, because before they kind of only really talked about really cool features, like free to play and like the online sounding really good, but so it, it, I was really excited to finally see some more uh, concrete gameplay details. And for me personally, like, with team games one thing i like besides outside of like building cool team strategies and stuff is the movement options those games give you and dude i i can't i can't explain how happy i was to see the movement they showed like the wave dashing right. and like they showed like the screen size like they, they showed them wave dashing yeah. all the way back i was like yes mm -hmm. this is home for me and they kind of showed some of their t their new uh, tag mechanic as well it's kind of like bb tag where you uh, it's like a takeover, like when you call your assist. So th that was that was pretty interesting as well. And they also have like the traditional assists that Marvel is kind of known right. for as well. Mm -hmm. So it's cool seeing that. And they also showed the the burst mechanic. Like they have like a kind of a counter tag from uh, M like all MVCI and BB tag as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, it, it was cool to see like finally gameplay after like a right. kind of a long time. Uh, the, one of the most interesting things to me, because, you know, I also am more of a 1v1 kind of player. There was that yeah. part in the update where they're like, for a while, we were doing a 1v1 game. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that would have yeah. been nice. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah you like team games? I, no, I like team games for fun and uh, just competitive wise. Like, I'm definitely way more versed in uh, 1v1 games, but I, I dabble sure. with DBFC, MVC3. I play casually and I love watching them. I mean, I think UMVC3 to me is the best spectator game of all time. So I think that choice for them to do that makes the most sense in terms of just broad appeal, right? It's it's It always allows for more flashier combinations, more degenerate type mechanics right i feel like when you do a yeah. 1v1 game generally it has to be more tame just by the nature of it but with having team-based games it kind of opens up the ability you know you lose one character you're still in it so it can get a little bit more nasty with the mix-ups and this allows you to be a bit more fluid with the mechanics and um it lulls a team game right <laughs> like yeah i feel it like is, it yeah. makes the most sense for not just the gameplay style but like mainstream appeal so mm -hmm. i i do agree with the choice but it was slightly disappointing. Like, <laughs> I feel like uh, I felt the same way. I, it's two v twos or three v threes. I'm not. I like pretty much always just watch them. It just did not click for me as much. Project Hill is pretty much the first game I'm really investing the time into, like really grinding. I think like I'm super interested in it. Like Vinny said, I really like the movement in it. I really like movement in like one v one games. Not always like super focused in them, but I feel like that's one thing that team games always are way more interesting mm -hmm. with. Like, yeah. right. General movement and like you said, like mix. It, it's better visually, right? Like Street mm -hmm. Fighter is like not about movement at all. It's like yeah. about <laughs> the minutia of like, oh, I'm at yeah, this pixel sure rather, rather yeah. than this mm -hmm. pixel, right? So I feel like for capturing the market that is like the giant lol fan base, it makes more sense to go with something like that. So just immediately be like, wow, look at the spectacle. Like immediately yeah. it looks flashy and cool. So. I, I think it was the right choice. Yeah. yeah, I'm wondering, maybe maybe that was a part of their decision as well, just to kind of capture like, oh, there's all in, in the MOBA, there's all these different team combinations, all these characters and different interactions. Right. So maybe the team game can kind of like breed that that DNA in, into the fighting game. And maybe just like a 1v1 wasn't really doing that maybe. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's definitely more chaotic in the competitive scene. I think like team games, like the biggest turnoff for them is just stuff gets a little too degenerate and you're like oh That's man like, saying. like it, it's it's cool to see but i love that stuff so personally that of course you love that stuff yeah, dude you're the yeah. uh, uh, originator of the bs dude <laughs> bit, which is why yeah. i love watching you play mvc3 but i would never ever ever want to play against you right like, <laughs> and so people were saying that the tag mechanic is similar to bb tag so i'm wondering like uh-oh like what are we uh what are we what kind of can of worms are we opening up here yeah 
I heard a lot of people compare it to BB Tag. I didn't really play BB Tag. If it is similar, that'll be really interesting because a lot of people did not think BB Tag would really carry over to any other game. They were like, <laughs> it's a pretty unique game in terms yeah, of- Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think in terms of what BB Tag kind of brought to the team game formula that was, uh, I think, a little bit new is the like the sandwich situations that you create in that game with their cross uh, their cross assault thingy or whatever. So one one mechanic that's like a really common mix up that you set up in BB Tag, you do like a special move that kind of comes out a little later. And the mix up is, do I tag to the, the other character in the sandwich and make it a cross up or a same side? Yeah. So mm. seeing that tag mechanic, I was like, uh oh. But it, I, I don't know if the swap was quite as fast. There's like a little bit of a screen freeze, so maybe it'll be like reactable. But who knows? I, I, but but I can tell they're they're going for some of that that sandwich yeah. team game dirt. You know, it's also in uh, uh the Power Rangers fighting game as well. I was actually thinking. I was gonna say compared to like a lot of solo games, there's not been very many team games, right? Like it, recently, it's been like what. Power Rangers and then Dragon Ball, right? Like in the past few yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, there hasn't really, there was kind of like a team game boom, I'd say. It's like Marvel Infinite, Dragon oh, yeah. Ball, BB Tag, and then, you know, Power Rangers, but then they kind of just stopped after that. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels like it really, really stopped. So Yeah, they didn't really stick. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited just also for the fact that it's like different. Like you said, like I like the kind of monotony of how, how like neutral can be sometimes in solo games, but I'm really excited for it also just because it's Dude, juggling with assists is, is hard. Like that yeah. is a really like unintuitive t thing. And also like there's different rules for when assists will activate. Yeah, the cooldowns. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just like when you can you can press the assist. Like it, it was very uh, unintuitive to someone who's like, oh, while I'm doing one move, I cannot activate another move, right? But with an yeah. assist, you could. And uh, it, it was all very strange, so. I think maybe the league players will maybe be good at dealing with the cooldowns at least maybe because you know they're just so used to like juggling like so many different cooldowns so i don't know <laughs> I, I think the big thing is the league players are going to smoke us that's that's oh yeah you think so <laughs> bro uh, first of all adrian on clg is about to smoke all of us adrian yeah is yeah for sure nasty at strive and dvfc already i played with him like I, the only game i could beat him in is street fighter and he was catching up quick i i think it's because of the rollback age partially too along with this like mass appeal that league has uh but just from strive uh experiencing just all these new cats like come out of nowhere like Nubenheimer never like went to a major ever like just tra trained online came to his first major and won it umi show like there's a lot of those players like popping up within strive and i kind of attribute it to like the good net code and i feel like that trend is going to continue for sure into project l i really feel like we're gonna get smoked i think there's gonna be a lot of people smoking a lot of legacy players and it's gonna be really interesting to see i think like it's it's partially like way back it was really hard to get information consistently in fighting games i feel like it, it's not so much the case anymore between like twitter and more consistent youtube uploaders and stuff like that but like before it was like if you had like an info advantage on someone like you could just cook them forever yeah or yeah. Just be like frame data or like knowledge text. Well, not even that, just experience. Like yeah. before you had to go to somebody to play the game. You know how wild that is to say? Yeah. Like, like I used to carry my Xbox and my backpack and lug a CRT to some random dude's house that I didn't know to play a video <laughs> game. Like that's just like, crazy talk. Like, you know, you're gonna get kid, like kids are gonna get kidnapped. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like you, just, you could not no. facilitate young people to play the game because playing the game online especially like 2012 and prior when it was all everything was delay based just sucked it, it was yeah. just not the same yeah. game so i feel like the the door is blown open people can actually yeah. play online and, and get good yeah unless you had like a good scene it was it was really hard to get good honestly <laughs> one other thing i want to talk about that is uh the the follow-up they had to the, the tweet uh, where they announced the video they because they showed the, de the developer footage and like you mentioned like oh you trusted the people working the game they showed a lot of fgc people you know there is uh it seems like they're really trying to tap into the community because i remember one of the initial rumors when the game was announced was like oh they're gonna have exclusivity contracts where top players will have to only play uh, the riot fighter but then their immediate follow-up was like oh like what's going on in your local scene like what are you working on like we're trying to engage and end the video as well on um, they're saying they're trying to engage with local communities i mean i didn't expect anything like that <laughs> that that, that kind of sounds like you know like the like a like a twitter would you give up x so you can get a million dollars sort of deal you know what i mean that's exactly what it was people were saying like <laughs> if you were paid a million dollars to be a professional project l player would you quit every other fighting game it, it was like you know cl classic you like every day <laughs> Like two thousand eight style going. Yeah. There was nothing about Project L out. That was the yeah. whole narrative.
I never thought of the way he told me, because I never saw that, and that's fantastic. They don't have to do any of that, so the fact that they're really making an effort is, is really, really nice.